Puppy, where do you go, Puppy? Puppy, where are you going to? Oh, Puppy, that's a bear, you- ah! Hello, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the house. Today, on a survival free to play today, we return. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and with the help of no clothes, a magnificent beard, one third or one fourth of a machete and five baked beans, we are going to be tackling the military convoy today, amongst other things, because we should have a new event happening, because as you guys know, after you do first spawn into the game and everything, you do have a week's worth of events, seven days worth of events that are pretty freaking dope if you ask me and oh no 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 god dang it now we got both these dudes over here to worry about Blech. well i suppose that we could go ahead and do that and i kind of should maybe like craft a spear or something but yeah i'll just use up two slices on this fella and hopefully we could get these sneak attacks going but hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing variety Sorry about the little burp there. And then it'll get more fan freaking fantastic from here on out because we are back, ladies and gentlemen, in the free to play. Woo! Series! No, 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 no. Back it up, back it up, back it up, buddy! There we go. See, the good thing about being naked is that there's no armor to break. We just got to worry about a little bit of damage and maybe uh, some EXP coming our way in a little bit here as well. But let's see. I kind of want to try. Oh! Dars da minigon, lads! I forgot that we're going to get to cash that bad boy in in just a second, plus all the loot that this event does have to offer, because I'm not gonna lie, as a free-to-play player in this free-to-play series, let me just say, oh, what, what, hello, excuse me, Mr. Spitter, why you running up on me? Why you run up on me? You go get the, the, the chetty, machetti, I don't know what I was about to say word that doesn't make sense, but, uh, yeah, I'm seriously looking forward to clock, clock, copping, not clocking, copping that minigun over there. I do think once we pick it up, we are definitely going to need to use it because we get swarmed by zombies. Or we could wait, and this is kind of a bit of a nifty trick that you could do, and how low full set of somewhat decent armor. I will take you to the bank and definitely want to bring that home. Ooh, I like picking that stuff up. We got, oh, a decent machete amongst other things. Dude, I think like the first time you hit up this event, like, I, I think it's at its peak, man, especially if we get, oh, what if we get, like, a guaranteed severed finger? Dude, do you know how good that is? That, like, pretty much guarantees us a pistol amongst other things over at the bunker? We could have a really nice setup coming up for us here. Hopefully, we have enough inventory room to bring all of it back. As you guys know, we also need to make sure to knock out some more quests in that survival guide. And, dude, there might be something interesting awaiting us today. Like, today might be the day we get kidnapped. Because let's freaking go, if I recall properly. That is one of the events that is possible to do. So, definitely something we need to watch out for. Uh, we need to leave some stuff behind, dude. We're not going to be able to grab everything this is a good but at the same time bad problem to have i'm gonna leave the ah oh, dude three green tickets that's a lot to leave behind like ah maybe i'll leave what nah dude wires are pretty important now too i might just leave the beanie behind the rest of this armor is like reinforced and the, the rest of it not so much uh we are gonna need to pick up that freaking minigun i might need to leave the cloth behind or something like that you i will pick up momentarily don't worry minigun you aren't being left behind i could probably use that same minigun to clear out bunker bravo by the way once we head over there for the first time glue and stuff like ah we might just need to come back for this guys and gals I'm not gonna lie. There's gonna be there's too much loot for us in our little baby basic backpack to hold. Boy, boy. Hello, I'll use you for now. Oh, and we got the level up from that. What's our level 19 skill? This freaking go. I'm sorry, strong legs bruiser is like one of my favorite perks. I just want to keep on getting that health up. Um, you get left behind. I'm sorry, single piece of cloth. Uh, steel, mucho more valuable, my friendo. Uh, so nothing up in there. We still gotta think like maybe two more chests for us to pick up and then we might go and dip on out of here. I could probably run here at the end of the episode too, maybe with an empty inventory and be able to grab some of the stuff. Cause like, I don't know, maybe I'll leave behind this. Nah, I don't want to leave behind boots, man. Boots are at pretty high valuable right now. Mm. Have I looted you, you yet? No? That loading bar, it tells us that exact answer. Let's see what lies within, because I think during military convoys, this is the one that could give us some pretty good, oh, some really good stuff. Yeah, we really need, really need to come back because we're gonna be leaving some decent stuff behind here. And I'm not a fan of leaving decent stuff behind, dude, because our, our, our first aid stockpile is not very large at the moment. Oh, we still have this chest here too. Dear mama. Oh, do we still have that guy? We got a loot. Oh, man. 
There is a lot. Yeah, we got a... Oh, that's just the bunker alpha code. God dang it. Give me your clothes. I don't want no numbers. I want your clothes, buddy. Where are the clothes? Uh, they are nowhere to be found. Um, so here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to end up leaving behind... Uh, I'll just leave behind the freaking... I'll leave behind... Oh, I haven't even looted this either. All right, let's see what this has. Then we'll choose something to leave behind so we can pick up the minigun and... Ooh, if we are returning here, we might need to mow down the entire horde that does run up on us. Ooh, hello, piece of candy. I'll take that. Definitely got to come back for the aluminum plate. That's not being left behind. So, all right. We're obviously, I'm going to need to make a pit stop here at the end of the episode. That has to happen. But till then, what I need to do is grab the minigun and the enemy is running at us. Holy guacamole, mow them down, baby. Yeehaw, mother truckers. Oh, hold on. Let's go ahead and get this horde. Oh, we got to get them all sorts of clumped up. Hello? Hello? Who is that? That's a floater bloater over there. No, 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 Mr. Bloater. Oh, back it up, ladies and gentlemen. The minigun says no. Oh, good morning. Hopefully that, that's woken us up without, uh, yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I am feeling awake after that. Oh, all right. Um... Put the minigun away. Don't need to use that on anything else. And here's the thing. Having that partial durability minigun could come in very handy in the future because if we ever do want to build a turret in our free-to-play uh, playthrough, which might be a little... Ooh, we have the oak forest to go to. We got a little bit of time to head over there. Most important thing, though, let's see what's going on at base. What's popping off with that? Because as you can see, this convoy is like another hour on us. So we should be able to run here at the conclusion of today's shenanigans. But then the Oak of Forest might have some good stuff for us. But uh, yeah, that'll be really good because once we do want to eventually, and I do mean eventually because like it takes a high level to craft a turret, 88 to be exact. If we want to get one of these bad boys crafted up at some point, we do need to invest a minigun. And the thing is, it doesn't need to be a full durability minigun. It could be any durability minigun. And hello, there is no one awaiting us at our base. There's just a puppy. Hello, puppy. How you doing, buddy? Puppy, hello. Puppy, puppy. Let me pick you up, puppy. Puppy, hello. Okay. Goodbye, puppy. Okay. Uh, nice seeing you, pup. What do we have here? Ooh, extra melee damage. Yeah, you turned one advertisement later. We have that 20% extra melee damage, which turns these machetes into murder machines. Who broke down that partial wall? I do not appreciate that whatsoever. All right, well, I've just become a little bit of a salty sailor, but so be it. Because now all that we got to do is put this stuff away. And I may have come across the issue where we don't have room to put this stuff away into. So I think it might be about time for us to put the dinner table away and if we do have the wood somewhere which i feel like we should uh do we not i might have some still chilling in my inbox oh never mind we still got some over here so beautiful we'll grab some of that wood uh, i'll put that away in its place we'll grab some of the grass and put the minigun away safely in its place let's get the small box crafted and let's go and uproot this little thing over here that we do not need. We are going to start investing into more... Hello, furniture? Could I, there we go. Okay, that's what I was trying to do. Uh, we definitely do need to start investing into more just kind of spaces where we can put stuff down. Because currently, we're running a little bit short on that type of room. But uh, ooh, I'm going to... I'm gonna also like strip 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 naked here. Let's just be honest. That's some really good armor we have. So for now, that armor gets put away. I'll pick up some of this armor over here. At least have like some basic stuff on my bottom half. And uh we could probably just put the rest of these away and be pretty good to go. We do still need to bring some wires and stuff like that over to the watchtower in the east. And I'll go ahead and toss the beanie on to toss that over there. And I think the rest of this machete should be enough for what we have going on in case it isn't though i will bring our vanilla baseball bat not any dope mods on it, like the spike the club mod we got in our main playthrough because mm, pepper that ah, is a good mod to say the least but uh, what up raiders have i been doing any of your guys tasks i gotta visit some airdrops all right i'll try my best i gotta kill 20 zombies all right we got a couple of tough cookies over there but i'm back and towards the map we go and let's see if any events have popped up at all come on any oh a humanitarian aid box puppies trails go this way i wonder what might be there hmm you don't say the puppy is trying to lead us somewhere. Well, 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 to the forest edge we go, I suppose. Let's see what this is all about. Hopefully we have enough with this machete and baseball bat. 
What's the, what exactly is going to happen here at the forest edge? Am I spooked? What's going on? <gasps> the puppy! Hello, puppy! Come come back here, puppy. What are you doing? Puppy, hello, puppy. Puppy, where do you go, puppy? Puppy, where are you going to? Oh, puppy, that's a bear. You oh! Jabez, puppy, what is you doing? Okay, we got to start fighting this bear. He doesn't seem to be that powerful at all. He's only doing five damage. Ow! Okay, hold on. I'm a... The, hello? There's a... Hunter! Help me out over here! Okay, you're the one with, like, a real bow. I'm just using my goddamn machete. See you later, black bear. Woo! That was a success. Hey, we got a puppy, too. What? What? That's what I like to see. What up, Nikki? I wouldn't have made it without you. Okay. I'm sure we'll meet again. That's it? That's all you want to talk about? Where's my reward? Give me your dog. I saved your life. Do something. All right, what do you have on you, bear? Uh, a lot of meat and just one normal animal rawhide. Dude, I feel like the bear should drop something special, man. Oh, hello. We can loot up this place, too. Look at that, man. God, that is like such a gorgeous little like cavern. This bear picked a great place to uh, do residence in. Hello. I'll take the survivor notes. I love that noise that we are hearing over there. The level up noise. Ooh, lucky. Mm, I like that. Anything to hopefully help out our loot? I'll take that to the bank. And speaking of things we'll take to the bank, what part of the survivor guide should we try and knock out right now? We've got some limited time events so here. Kill some zombies at the uh, woods. Uh, at a certain point, we do need to reach the pine grove, actually. We've yet to do that. I got to build up some boxes. We got to build one more small box. Uh, not build boxes. I got to build more walls. I do need to build one more box. We got to kill some toxic abominations. Reach the limestone ridge. There's definitely a couple of things that I think we could knock out. Why don't we head over to this airdrop and then maybe head over to the level two, the yellow uh, forest zone. Cause I think we need to go there for a certain reason. Even the green zone, or no, I was gonna say, we got We still gotta kill like Sergeant Kowalski, but I think we killed Kowalski. We gotta kill like dead face, or that might be at the limestone ridge. Who knows? We might need to do some deals with the dealer too. That's another thing. But for now, do the airdrop. We go. Let's see what the airdrop has in store for us. And as we are making our way over to this, I'd love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below regarding, hey, if you guys are doing any of the events or what is your favorite of these events that are going on? These kind of like introductory events that we are finally getting to experience again since, I mean, we haven't experienced these since the update that freaking added them in. And now we are, hey, back it up, Mr. Toxic Peter. I did not come with weapon equipped buddy pal of mine ow don't spit on me i don't want to be smelly boy okay my smelly boy days that is for main account okay this account is going to be clean boy yeah we definitely gotta make sure to save this baseball bat because that mod will come in handy especially for us trying to take down the blind one in an efficient way we definitely want to tackle the blind one at some point i also should we need to find hydration that's another thing speaking of hydration i might actually just drink this energy drink so we could hopefully run around a little bit more as well we are getting thirsty so hopefully we come across something over here maybe the airdrop itself will be able to feed us oh baby that's some big damage oh yeah i forgot we are more powerful with our melee attacks and after we kill this toxic spitter actually oh no god dang it i thought i moved out the way uh after we kill this toxic spitter that is another task completed meaning that there should be new rewards awaiting us as well and hello player player please remove oh my god you're a heavy hitting player dude this this freaking crowbar is a powerful bar jesus dude that thing was wailing on me i have clothes on my guy how are you being so powerful what is this why you cheat ski doodle man all right Let's see what we have over here within the airdrop, though. Come on, baby. This could be it. No way, me, no way, me, no way, me, no way, me. Give me the goods. Ah. Ah. Oh, I like that noise, though. That's a really nice noise. I'll leave that behind. Nothing is stacking up. I will... I do want to bring these back home. We might need to make a pit stop back home really quickly, to be honest. I'll leave these behind. Pick that up. Uh, the bricks could be nice, but that is just processed stone at the end of the day. I, 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 that, yeah, the flashlight could go too. Uh, I just, I'll pick up the bricks. We are going to need those to build some stuff up at a certain point. All right, I'm pretty, actually, why don't we just drink this energy drink now? We are planning on doing a decent amount of running. Frees up some inventory room. Gets us a little bit of hydration as well. And I'll pick up the duct tape, actually. I think that's pretty good. Ah, I hate having this limited capacity inventory, but that is why doing all these quests is going to be so important. Because once we can make our way up to level 37, oh, baby, that tactical backpack awaits us. We need minimum 
out of what we complete out of the survival guide i need the tactical backpack everything on top of that is gravy but the tactical backpack is a must and we're gonna do everything in our power to muster the power and make it happen but all right um we gotta hit up the pine grove why don't we go home should have the energy for that then we could run over here and maybe even run over there really quickly knock out the boss we need to knock out there and then run over there we might have the energy for that I'm not sure. I am a little bit sketched by that because we only have 66 to play with. And I don't know if that's exactly going to be enough for us. We might need to knock out another small box here as well. I could just try putting the radio away. Maybe. I haven't put the radio away yet. I hope so. Honestly, you know what we could do too? Another quest that we do need to knock out that we could go ahead and start doing is the base building related quest that just involves, well, building up your base a little bit. So let's do exactly that. We'll put away some of these clothes we picked up. We got a nice little stockpile of armor, slowly but steadily building up. And uh, okie dokie, let's get a wall plopped on down. Uh, we could, do we have the inventory room for this? We only have one slot. Eh, why don't we actually... Uh, I don't have the raw meat either. There we go. I'm going to put a couple of things away up into there. And as we were saying, let's go and actually repair this wall. That's not the wall. That's the box. Okay, hold on. I'm going to move this freaking furnace because that should... Hello? Click the furnace. There we go. I'm going to move the furnace and then we should actually have uh, the ability to boop, 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 repair this bad boy. And we'll toss on a replacement wall. And then we could go and we'll get a couple of floors down here. I can't build it under? Are you kidding me right now? What is this? Can I do it the other way, though? Can I move this on top? Bruh. We've been played. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get a couple of these walls popping off. We'll get the doorway over there. And we at least have a bit of a second room built up. Whoop, hello. We, like, teleported out there. A bit of a second room built up. We'll get some more chests up in there to store some of this stuff in. And continue our shenanigans. Let's grab the one thing. And, hey, we have just enough wood to... Oh, we could get two more of these crafted, actually. Let's honestly go with both. Small box numero uno, small box numero dos. Toss those down, and we'll do a little bit of inventory management. But as we are doing that, like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below regarding, well, just about anything. How your weekend is going, how the loot and luck has been. Hello, you want to click over there? There we go. That wasn't clicking for some reason. That was, hello, right there. Right there. I am clicking. Excuse me. There we go. I'm clicking right over there. But I'd love to hear from you guys in that comment section down below regarding what you guys think of the events that we are currently in the midst of knocking out. Which one is your personal favorite? How your own survival guide journey might be going, by the way. And oh, baby, we got some levels of this to bask in. Hello, hello. I like what I'm seeing over there. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Already about halfway. Towards that back to the tactical tack pack. Tactical backpack is what I meant to say. Like I was saying, I'd love to hear from y'all in that comment section down below. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you at one a third of the way into the Wingy Tribe. Not a iTunes Touch Place Store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe. That will entry you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, we'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be Widow for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification notification bell it to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope travel games going up on the channel as well that you should definitely give a peek in case you have not already because there are definitely some dope ones out there that you might very well fall in love with just as i have as well i know you might be like star what are you doing listen i was running a bit low on inventory room I had to improvise, and now we're done improvising, so let's stop talking about it. Hopefully this five jakey we bring along for the adventure is enough, and let's go and do exactly that. So begin another adventurous leg to today's episode's journey. But that notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with all the latest or greatest of Last Day on Earth information. As soon as a type of new info does come out, we're spreading it to you guys, eyes and ears, absolutely ASAP. Making sure you guys know of the future of Last Day on Earth, what to expect within future updates, when those updates are going to come, what features those updates are going to have, how those features will play out with things already within the game, and we're going to be connecting all that information with information already out there that we know from previous stuff that's been released, information we know from the game, and information that Kefir continues to let us know about out of the future and as soon as any new update does come out we are diving absolutely headfirst into it and showcasing off every single little thing that it does have to offer new locations new enemies new anything if it's new it's getting shown off that i can tell you for sure and god dang it i cannot wait till this next one this basement update that we are patiently waiting for dude on the roadmap that thing just looks like it's gonna be a 
Oh, dude, seriously, once we can start going down into there, potentially coming across that freaking, like, minor boss zombie, I can't wait to tackle that man with everything that we got, try to find out the best strategies to take him down, all that type of jazz, because just as we always do with all the updates, we try to get to the bottom of every update, do everything that the update has to offer, find the best ways of doing the stuff that it does have to offer, any and all of that type of jazz, so make sure that the notification bell is hit for all of the marvelous reasons, you marvelous boys and girls, and holy cow! We sent that dude to the ground with some velocity. Hello, Wolfie. How are you doing? Give me your meat and your hide. Okay. Okay. Glad that that could be established. Thank you for the goods. But I do believe that there should be some sort of a boss in this location that we have unlocked from the uh, survival guide journal or whatever. And by the way, regarding what you guys got to toss in that comment section down below, it could be absolutely anything. Yo, I can't open this. No. I'm not advanced enough of a burglar. I've been played, my guy. There's probably some really good goods in there, and well, we're never gonna know. This zone will be lost to the abyss. We will never revisit this exact zone again since these zones are randomly generated, and God dang it, I'm, I'm tearing up a little bit just thinking about it, man. We'll never know what was within. Hello, Mr. Deadface. Goodbye, Mr. Deadface. Okay, luckily, he does not hit too hard, but we hit him more than hard enough. And hold up, we gotta enter into some feasty cuffs with Mr. Roaming Zombie here. Deadface, you drop like freaking nothing, my guy. Come on, come on. What are you doing? We are about to get another level, by the way. I should probably try and get some wood, though, so we could, like, at least build up a spear, man. I, that's, that is the bare minimum the minimum viable weapon that we need for our shenanigans because uh, trust me as, as much as I love being a mucho macho I, I don't want to be using my fists too much right? I gotta keep these babies pristine instead I'm gonna hold this giant sharpened stick and hope that I don't get splinters while I give the enemies the biggest splinters of their lives usually resulting in death Speaking of things, dude, I really want to get some wooden spear mods, by the way, because those might be absolute budget ballers to be able to, like, deck this thing out, make it more powerful, do more damage, maybe add speed to it, dude. There's so much cool potential. Hello. Oh, goodbye! No! Why do you attack me? Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now, my dude? You're going to make me go through so much of my wooden spear. You better have some good stuff on you, all right? I expect, like, I don't know what I expect. I expected better than that. I am sad. Why you do this to me? Thank you for the shoes, though. I'll, I'll, I'll take the shoes, I suppose. And some animal hide and some iron. All right. It was decent. Could have been better. We'll probably make a pit stop off at home while we make our way to the yellow zone after this. Let's see what we have within the chest over here. No way, me, no way, me, no way, me, no way, me, no way, me. Leave the water behind. Oh, and I'm gonna leave a little bit of vitamin P as well. Oh man, I, I think I can see the water level rising inside of there. <laughs> I kid, I kid. Oh, I smell. This is not good. Why you do this to me, game? I've been bamboozled. I don't like this. This is not nice. Also, the fact, dude, if we could maybe like add plus one damage to the spear when we have the healer buff. There's like a decent chance we might be able to one-hit 40 health enemies with the dang thing, which would be hype. I mean, we're pretty much able to kill them before they can get like a hit off on us, which is more than enough. Except the wolf, he's probably gonna get a hit off on us, right? Yeah, he's a little bit of a faster hitter there, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, regarding that comment that you guys gotta go ahead and drop below, uh, that comment could be absolutely anything, by the way, you know, how your day is going, I'd love to hear maybe how your loot luck is going and all that type of jazz, literally, it could be anything that you can think of, just wanna make sure to clarify that a little bit, and ooh, I didn't begin opening this yet, well, don't mind if I do, what you got within Mr. Chest, some food, I will put that in the belly for safekeeping, the safest of keeping, actually. Uh, we could actually toss that in there, and to be completely honest, we could... I don't know exactly what we could do. I could kill those two enemies. I'm probably not. Why don't we grab some berries? You know, try to heal up a little bit. So, yeah, I'll just auto-gather these, and, uh, probably just run my bootay back home. Plant fiber? Oh, I suppose we got a partial amount of that. So, yeah, I'll just auto-collect the zone, and, uh, we'll drop some stuff off at home. Uh, I should maybe make some room for seeds, too. Nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm just good with auto-collecting. But uh, we'll run our way back home, drop some of this stuff off, and hey, we got that level up. We'll head on out to, to the next leg of our race. Toxic Spitter Spit, eh, 
Give me more oak logs. I like that. We're in the early stages. I'd much rather be a smelly boy with lots of oak than a clean boy with little oak. So I'm gonna try to be better about the whole showering shindig too. But we're gonna continue collecting and talking to y'all. In a second. Oh, Hashimoto! What are you doing, my guy? Why are you attacking me with your fist? Come on. Think. Use that noggin of yours a little bit. Oh, he might get away. He might get away. This hit and run. This is unacceptable, Hashimoto. How dare you? I am offended you would do such a thing. Ah! All right, back to collecting we go. And with all of that put away, we are looking just as prepared as we need to be for the yellow zone, which again, we should actually get some quest points just for arriving over there. But then the interesting things will start kicking in when uh, we start doing stuff over here, because I think that there should be another boss awaiting us there amongst other things. And there's still so many quests that we got to be able to knock out. But just knowing that we're pretty much half, we're literally halfway there, 19 levels completed at 37, we get the tag to a backpack. Things are going to be looking millhouse and obviously being able to collect the chopper fork amongst other things will also be good because that free to play side does still have some very good goodies available to it and uh, being able to stockpile some of that stuff over on the right side won't hurt you know like even if we aren't going to be putting it to use necessarily just knowing that worst case we have it st stocked away in a safe place oh my goodness gracious sorry about the burp over there too just knowing that we do have it stocked away for a safe place if, if we ever want to like try and maybe do just like a cool one-off video or something like that around some of those items it will definitely be possible but for now we keep it to the free to play side of things and oh my god oh i thought that was another locked chest i was about to be like bruh oh we can freaking open up the car over there not that we're gonna get anything out of it since well we don't have the chopper to haul anything back. Another thing about having the chopper, that's such a nice luxury. That little slot on the back that lets us take some stuff home. Mm -mm -mm, that would be primo to be able to use. Is that an alpha wolf over there? Oh no, I'm a little bit concerned. We <coughs> might need to, uh, what should I call? Grab some, that is, yes, that is an alpha wolf. Oh no. We might need to grab a weapon from our inbox because this wooden spear is not suited at all. Okay, let's see what's a weapon we could grab from the free-to-play side. Do we maybe have like a machete that we've gotten at some point? There are no machetes. There is saw blade mace, so maybe we take out saw blade mace and we'll be good to go. So, all right, Mr. Saw Blade Mace, there you are, buddy. I know that I'm allowed to use you. Let's hope that things buff out. This is a nice little weapon to have for insurance, too, because, again, these are some tough cookies over here. Get out of here, you flipping turkey. Can I try to get a big hit off on the Alpha Wolf? Let's go! Test completed. These guys should be going down. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, lads and lassies, you might see a lot more dead bodies than there were before. Long story short. Uh, my hard drive decided to fill up of storage, so I had to stop the recording, and as I was trying to fix the recording and, you know, have some room in my hard drive for the recording to go to, I got jumped twice by two separate hordes of enemies. It's like, the, the, like they knew, they're like, oh, Star's trying to fix this stuff, attack! Yeah, that was uh, definitely a no bueno type of thing. But we are back on the bueno track. We should be able to go back to the wooden spear and continue messing these dudes up all easy peasy like. And we'll just make sure to try and maybe hit up a couple of the chests that they have lying around. I'll probably maybe gather a little bit. I, I don't want to gather too much though because we are also going back to the military convoy where I definitely... Woo! Hello, fast biter. Want to be able to... Oh my goodness gracious, you people keep... Oh my god, I was not able to... Oh, we are extra butt naked now. Do not like, do not like being this butt naked. Oh my God, stop spitting on me, Tuck. Oh no, I don't have to, like, oh my God. Where are you coming from, C-Tep? No, no, go, oh my goodness. Ow, dude, he's a heavy hitter. Oh no, oh no, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here, we gotta go, 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 we gotta go. Oh, 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 close call. Oh, that, it's like, the game's scheming against me, man. I don't know. I don't have clothes. I don't have a lot of armor. I, guys, we, yeah, this is dangerous. We might just go to the military convoy. Honestly, like we need, we have, we need inventory room for there, anyways. Uh, d d risky. There's a guy. He has a heavy hitting weapon. I don't want to die in the random zone because then, 
we're not getting that stuff back in. Oh my god, I am really that short on the destroyed convoy. Well, so be it. But with that said, with that done, we're gonna start making our way over there and start bringing an end to this episode. A last day on a survival free to play. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one. I'll talk to you next one. See ya.